this is a tutorial on how to preview your textures on 3ds max 2010 for your um, smackdown vs road 2011 models so let's get started i've been requested for this tutorial so let's get started right now now first of all i'm going to go to my documents here now i'm going to go and open x packer by tekken And I'm going to select um, an Xbox 360 PS3 pack file, which is the actual whole pack for your Grassler. So I'm going to go browse a little bit here. And yep, here it is. It is my 117 dub pack, which actually was William Riggle. But I replaced that pack with Jeff Hardy's from 2010. So I'm going to be editing Jeff Hardy in this time. So now that we got it open, we can see here that this is my pack file. And this is the one I want right now. I'm going to extract it into my, my pictures. And I'm going to go here and... Mm, name this max 10 tutorial and I'm going to save it there now I'm going to hit control 3 so I can open a patch file and select that one now here it's my 0000, 000 file which I'm going to extract it in here I uh, you see that it's already uncompressed in case you see here in the in the extension list you see BPE you have to create hit uncompress and then select the path then we're going to be working with the dot pack file so I'm going to go here into my pictures and hit max 10 tutorial and now I'm going to copy this one and paste it right there and change the extension into dot y o b j which is the actual model extension for smackdown vs rock games okay now i'm going to go and extract this file 000c Okay, now that I got extracted, uh, first of all, if you have here BPE extension, please hit uncompress first, and then you have to inject the pack file back here. Now that I extra, uh, I got extracted the the file. I'm going to hit texture archive and go for the C the pack. Now here it's the main texture. DDS file which I'm going to extract here as color and now I can close this okay now here are all the files with, that, that I'm going to be needing and I'm going to open DXTVMP which I use to open DDS files and I'm going to go into my pictures select max 10 tutorial and hit color DDS so now you see that it says converting and here we go you see that I already modified this texture so it actually is going to be a I'm going to be adding a shirt on Jeff Hardy um, I, it's a really poor walk by now but uh, I'm I'm hoping I can finish this as of yet. So I'm going to be first of all here in your 3ds Max. I'm going to be. Open it, I'm going to open it right now. Um, yep. So in your 3ds Max, when you render the model, when you actually try to render it, it's going to be a problem because. The DDS file has a lot of map maps and 
the way uh, Max renders the model, it will look like white and it will look like all shiny and white. There is an actual way to fix that, which is adding some more texture texture maps. But uh, since I don't want to be getting into it too much, um, there's a, an easier way to preview your textures since we don't want to actually we are not going to export that model so we don't want it to look um, to walk an extra lot uh, a lot in it because because it's not worth it at the end so I'm going to go into file save us and hit 24 bit BMP image which I'm going to save right there okay now we can close this the bitmaps images are actually rendered by max so now here in 3ds max opened we are going to hit here this little hammer which is utilities select max script run script and i'm going to actually i'm going to cancel it because i got already Nope. Okay, so the scripts are stored in my um, in C program Autodesk 3ds Max and um, plugins renders the scripts. And here is my script. This script you can find it on on syntax.com. It's by Crocs you can search for UX model converter and you will find it there so here now we should have UX dot yovj importer and I'm going to hit on it now I'm going to hit alt w to get only the perspective view for that model and hit this button right here now we're going to select the yovj which I first extract it into my max10 tutorial folder and click on open we wait a little bit we see that it's loading okay now here is my Jeff Hardy model you see that it's way too little too small so I'm going to scroll down here and hit fix all meshes and then I'm going to hit orbit, rotate it a little bit, and scroll back so we can see the face. <coughs> so, this is our model on which we are going to be walking on, and I'm gonna hit the M, the M key here, which actually is on. Let me see, it's materials, just that I don't remember exactly where it is, in which menu. Um, 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 um. Well, anyway, hit the M key and you will be prompted, prompted with the material editor. So, select the first sphere that you see here and now go back there into which uh, it says Blin basic parameters now hit on diffuse and this little square here which says none and then hit bitmap now actually i'm going to um, look for my here on actually i don't see any more oh, i forgot it was actually on my pictures sorry okay pictures max 10 tutorial and I'm gonna hit color which is a BMP image here color okay now we got it loaded but you can see that if I drag this here I will only get a kind of gray texture which I don't want there it's because I need to hit this show standard map in viewport so now that I hit that, you see that the actual texture is loading. So I'm going to be dragging this 
material into each and every single object right here making sure all of the meshes are selected and you, you drag the texture in all meshes so object 10 and in the eyes there's object 2 which is the iris object 3 which is the pupil and object 1 which is uh, the other part of the eye now the the hands are actually another texture it's on the same color that DDS but it, I here on Max it doesn't load any well so now we have loaded the texture here we can go ahead and close this and since it's a bitmap here I'm going to scroll so we can zoom in and now that make sure the forehead is kind of hitting this upper part of the viewport so do you know you may now want to go into rendering and hit render which is shift Q and here is our render for a Jeff Hardy so this is actually more likely what the model is going to be looking at, uh, looking us in the game the only differences that we may notice in the game is that the alpha the alpha is going to be changing in game so we can look this to, we can make this shirt look like it's actually a shirt mm, this is the same which is modified by the alpha in game so we can get a, a good good uh, I don't know how to say it. to make it look real so you, you see that here you can go ahead and rotate the model a little bit hit shift Q and we get the, the next render so this is how Jeff Hart is looking now is looking right now I'm going to be updating this I hope you like it and you know me now you may now want to hit save and we click here as um, Jeff shirt and um, select a format which I'm, I prefer as a GPEG file mm. uh, hit large, smoothing, normal, max yeah, it's ok, normal with zero smoothing we can just wait a little bit and the image is ready so now we can close this just before I go uh, remember if you you can go ahead and modify these models I mean if you are good in Max we can hit F uh, sorry it's actually a Mac key so um, F4 and we can see all these meshes we can go in here sorry I'm going to select this and you see that this is actually an editable mesh so we can go ahead and drag these vertexes here and select them and if you if you're good at max if you've ever used max before this or uh, I know I'm sure you can um, you can drag this a little bit and um, so the problem here is that we can edit the models we can make it look ours um, any way we want but there is no exporter for these models so any modification you do on the model it won't actually load it in game so if you want to go ahead and just for fun edit some edit some of this well, well go ahead just remember we can we cannot get these models uh, exported so we can load them in game once they're modified so hope you liked the tutorial see you next time